Hello, this is John Kelly with Web Support. I'm here to show you how to sign up for a PayPal Business Standard account. The first thing I'd like you to do is simply go to open up a web browser, Google, Bing, Yahoo, whichever you use, and simply do a search for PayPal. And as you can see, that's going to come right up. So click on the link to go to paypal.com. From here, click on business, not personal, but click on business tab at the top here. Next thing we want to do is choose the uh, first option, which is PayPal business standard. So we want to click on that one, get started. From here, it's going to ask you to create a new account. So select your country, select your language and create a new account. Next thing you want to do is pick your um, business type. So for right now, I'm just going to go through here as a demonstration and give you an idea. Now, passwords, you got to make sure that with PayPal, your password is very strong. That's the only reason anybody has any kind of problem with PayPal is because they use weak passwords. Um, so make sure that you're using lowercase, uppercase, numbers and special characters. In fact, the common trick is to press the shift button down and use your number keys. Okay, so that's a great way to remember, you know, like use your phone number or something like that. So, all right, security question. Uh, we'll just put something in here for now. Security question number two. And Put that in there for now. Okay, and then you got to figure out the little security code there, UM45, and then we continue. Okay, so on the next page here, it's uh, more information, your legal business name. So for me, let's say it's LLC. Of course, I did put a corporation. That's okay. I'm not going to complete this. Uh, DBA, I don't have one. Um, date your business was established. Um, let's just put some numbers in here for nine. Okay, website URL. So you're going to put in your website address. And category. Now, your category, obviously, you want to choose whichever it may be. But uh, and if you're a salon, for example, it may be beauty, fitness, or something like that, or health or personal care, whatever you choose. Subcategory, um, makeup and cosmetics, we'll try that one. Okay, so what's your average monthly payment volume? What would it be? If you're not sure, just less than 5,000 is fine. What will your average transaction amount be? Uh, if you're not sure, then probably just you know choose whatever you feel. What percentage of your annual revenue will come from online sales? Okay, so probably that. Uh, do you sell on eBay? Yes or no? Your customer service email address, let's just say that's uh, info at your website. Whatever additional email address you want to give for customer service. Uh, federal tax ID. Your name. As you can see, we're just going down, filling in the information. Okay. Okay. So choose whether your address is the same or a different address, and then click Agree and Continue. And it says I messed something up here, so let's go down and say, oh, I didn't select my state. Okay. Still doesn't like it. What did I do wrong here? Check your city, state, and zip, and try again. All right. Don't like that town, so let's try that one. There we go. 
Okay, so from here, that's pretty much it. Congratulations, you've signed up for a PayPal business account and you're using PayPal business standards or payment standards. So your email address is going to be your PayPal username for everything. So all you have to do is remember that and whatever password you use when you go to log in to PayPal. So let's just say now that you go back to PayPal and you wish to log in. This is all you have to do. Okay, actually it has me logged in right now, but uh, if I were to log out of here. So I actually did create an account. That's okay. I'll terminate it. But there's things in here we want to talk about anyway. So we're going to log into my account. Okay, agree to receive PayPal electronic communications. I highly recommend that you do do that. Agree and continue. Okay, and this is your dashboard where you're going to get all your millions of dollars. Okay, one now just a couple of things about this. One of the things that you will be able to do is to withdraw your money to a bank account. But in order to do that, you have to set up your bank account first. Uh, they will deposit they'll ask you for your routing number and your account number and they will deposit two little deposits in there and you come back here and you verify it and you're good to go so i would recommend you do that otherwise you're only going to get a uh, limit of five hundred dollars that you're going to be able to work with paypal acts as an online bank you do not have to connect it to your your bank if you don't want to you can request a check uh, but like i said it's easier to just you know, zip it over into your bank account. Uh, I use PayPal religiously. I love it. And I've been using it for many years and it works great for me. So this is what I'm going to need if you're going to set up any type of e-commerce on your website. And if you have any other more questions about PayPal, PayPal does have a customer service line or call that you can call them or email them. They're very good. They do walk you through anything you want, you wish to know about. Uh, but if you also need some additional help, you can ask me as well. Thank you.